Welcome back to TacosAndGeeks.com. Justin here, back with more Spring Anime Premiere 2023 coverage. And today we are going to be talking about Skip and Loafer. This is obviously, you can watch this on Crunchyroll. This is episode one. And as always, I gave you a brief synopsis. So here we go. This country girl is ready for the big city. Well, at least she thought she was. Mitsumi's dream is to attend a prestigious school and make the world a better place. But when she finally gets to Tokyo, it turns out she isn't exactly prepared for city life. Luckily, she runs into Shima, a sweet and handsome classmate who becomes her first friend. Can she make it in Tokyo with Shima by her side? This was... I, I, I really, really enjoyed this one as well. Uh, these rom-coms are... I'm not going to lie. You know, I, I got to start giving the rom-com animes a little bit more love, a little bit more of a chance because at least these ones for spring anime 2023 is hitting out of the park. Skip and Loafer, as the synopsis says, follows Mitsumi. Mitsumi, and she is a very interesting character. And I, this is something I can't recall seeing a lot in anime, especially in the old school animes in my era where I grew up, where we had, we, we usually have very character driven stories, and this is definitely character driven too. Misumi is someone who doesn't live in the moment. She, from the first introduction to this character, her whole life is planned. She has planned her whole life, even her days. She has planned it. She's planned what college she's going to go to. She even plans how people are supposed to react to her depending on scenarios that she's going to do. The girl has no sense of living in the moment. And she learns in this episode, which I love the, the theme of this first episode, is life is not always how you plan it. And it's a very important lesson that I think most of us, especially with our demographic based off our numbers, 18 to 65, so we're, we usually have more of the older crowd. Life is not how any of us planned it. And with Misumi, when things don't go to the T as planned, she has an anxiety attack. She breaks down. She starts vomiting. It's a very good character study. And it's done in a hilarious way at points. But it's also taken seriously when you look at certain situations. You're going, that's not healthy. <laughs> And I enjoyed watching her, especially with her interaction where, this is a minor spoiler, um, she has planned everything to get to school on time. She planned a train ride. Her aunt tells her that it's only three stops and then you're there. So she gets on the train and she's so on this high of, oh my gosh, I'm out of the country. I'm living in Tokyo. She's daydreaming. She's creating these scenarios. And she doesn't realize that she gets on the express bus, which skips her stop. And she ends up lost because this is her first time in Tokyo. Total breakdown. Literally shuts down. Says she wants to die. Total breakdown. And I'm watching this. I'm like, I know a couple of people like this. This is so accurate to what people like Misumi are like. And the people who like plan everything out. And then when it doesn't go their way, they just completely have an anxiety type. And I like the depiction of this because it's. I'm very curious to see where this character is going to go how she's going to deal when things don't go as planned because in this first episode everything goes she just completely shut down so i'm curious to see how's it going to go when things continue not to go as planned or how she's going to react when something does go 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 her way is she going to have confidence or is it going to just be like one of those one of so i'm really curious to see just from a character study standpoint of where they're going to take this character and if you read the manga obviously please no spoilers and what one thing i do like right now is that kind of dynamic that she's having with the other students in the class there is one minor spoiler i do want to spoil because i found it so hilarious so something there's an incident that happens and the class is looking at her differently now and she's trying to make friends. Nobody wants to be with friends because of this particular incident. It's only when Shima and he, he, the girls see him as attractive, he goes up to say, like, hey, let's be friends because there's a certain situation of how they met, which I'm not spoiling. And all of a sudden, the girls that didn't want to be friends with her, the Shunder, so fickle, go, oh, let's be friends. Oh, give me your ID. Let's, let's trade numbers and sex. I'm just like, oh, my God. Fickle, 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 fickle. Overall, I have to also talk about this um, animation before I get out of here. 
animation is beautiful. There's this one scene with the cherry blossoms that is just gorgeous, especially when she's running. She's running towards the school, and the cherry blossoms are are blowing within the wind. Great use of color. Voice acting is top notch, especially uh, Mitsumi's voice actor kills it of just really depicting someone who's going through this over exaggeration of anxiety and it's just overall i enjoy this i'm gonna put this as a watch now um definitely check this one out on crunchyroll this is justin from tacosgeeks.com if you're watching this on youtube don't forget to like share subscribe hit that notification bell very important if you're watching this on tacosgeeks.com please browse our website check out our new interviews with kenner gardner who talks about life with Chucky, UWL, Saturday Night Slam. You can check out our playlist on our YouTube channel, of course. And we have Eye of the Throne on the way. And, of course, this is Justin saying, later days, catch you on the next one. Peace. Thank you for watching.